Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of AgriGuru Lessons. For today's episode, I'm going to discuss module number 3, Interpret Plants and Drawings. Functions of Irrigation System The primary function of farm irrigation systems is to supply crops with irrigation water in the quantities and at the time it is needed. A specific functions includes first diverting water from the water source. So, ibig sabihin nito kumukuha tayo ng tubig from the water source in order for us to water to irrigate water to our own plants. So, yun po yung tinatawag natin pagpapatubig. Pangalawa, conveying it to the individual fields within the farm. So, kasi meron tayong tinatawag na uh, surface irrigation wherein hati-hati or let's say for example, yung katulad na lang sa rice fields. So, we can convey water uh, to each individual field para at least magka-water or ma-irrigate natin yung ating halaman. Pangatlo, distributing it within each field. So, same. And number four, providing a means for measuring and regulating flows. So, we can regulate flow of water pag sa irrigation system kasi nakadepende rin naman sa atin yun kung paano natin kukontrolin kung ganong karami yung tubig na ipapatubig natin sa ating mga halaman. Reasons for an irrigation plan. A project plan enables the designer to lay out the irrigation system in the most cost-effective way. The plan is used to generate a material list and to evaluate an anticipated project costs. So, sinasabi ko nga, plan is important. So, we need to plan in order for us to at least minimize expenses or minimize time and effort in doing our task. So, kasi dito sa pagpaplano ng irrigation system, mas maganda at least alam natin kung saan natin ipupwesto at alam natin kung paano yung atake or ano ba yung klase ng irrigation system yung i-apply natin sa ating mga halaman. Kasi meron tayong iba't ibang klase ng irrigation system na ididiscuss ko sa mga susunod kong video. Next, the plan provides step-by-step -step information on system installation Information on the crop spacing, sprinklers, pumping requirements, pipeline size, and lengths should be included on the plan. Pertinent obstructions such as roads, trees, gas, oil, water, telephone, or transmission lines must also be indicated. So, sa pagpaplano kasi step by step siya. So, kailangan specific yung mga information na kailangan mong ilagay dun sa plano mo. Kaya nga na tayo nagpaplano para at least alam natin kung ano yung gagawin natin sa mga susunod na step. Okay? So, kailangan again specific yung mga ilalagay mong details about your plan in irrigation system. Next, specification, design standards, and work schedules as set out on the plan form the basis of any contractual agreement agreements between the installation contractor and the farmer. And next, the plan provides a record for future reference. It can be used for overall farm planning and identifies limits of expansion potential. So, ibig sabihin nito, if ever na meron man lang tayo na gustong baguhin sa ating irrigation system, magbe-base pa rin tayo dun sa plano na nagawa na natin simula nung una pa. Ang baga, in, babaguhin natin yung design nyo or papagandahin pa natin, depende na rin sa atin kung paano natin gagawin yung tinatawag na mga pagbabago. So, kasi hindi naman totally fixed na talaga yung ginawa mong plano. So, if ever na may isip ka pang maganda, so mas maganda na mag-refer ka dun sa unang plano mo saka mo siya i-improve para at least gumanda pa yung iyong irrigation system. Next, essential features of a plan. So, what are the essential features of a plan? First, so we have the topographic 
data, the field shape must be accurately drawn showing pertinent obstructions, features, and elevation details. So dito specific talaga yung ilalagay mo na topographic data. Wherein, kailangan kung ano yung shape mismo nung farm mo, ano ba yung mga sizes ng bawat faros mo, ng mga beds mo so kailangan lahat nun na nakalagay even kung ano ba yung mga obstructions or other features of your farm so kailangan nakalagay yun, kumbaga all specific details of your farm is in, are included in your topographic data next, number 2 water source capacity the water supply must be clearly indicated showing location and available capacity so uh, mas maganda kasi kapag tayo ay naghahalaman or nagpa-farming alam natin kung saan tayo makakakuha ng tubig so mas maganda talaga kasi yung binabanggit ko pa dati pa na mas maganda na located yung farm natin dun sa mas malapit na mapagkukuhanan ng tubig para at hindi tayo mahihirapan sa irrigation system at alam natin kung saan nakapwesto mismo yung ating water source and next Number three, depending on the water source, a well log or water license must be accompany the irrigation plan. Irrigation reservoir also require water management branch licensing. Number four, soil and crop characteristics. Soil and crop limitations must be accounted for to reduce runoff and deep percolation by mismanagement of irrigation system. So, ibig sabihin nito kasi meron mga ibang crops na hindi naman totally na kailangan ng sobrang dami ng tubig. At meron din namang soil na at least nakakahold talaga ng matagalan ng water. So, ibig sabihin nun, depende yung gagawin nating irrigation or pagpapatubig sa ating mga halaman at depende na rin siya sa class... Depende yung pagpa... Depende or depende sa klase ng halaman at klase ng lupa yung gagawin natin pagpapatubig. So, kailangan nating alam yan. So, test tayo para at least alam natin yung kung ganong karaming tubig yung kailangan nating ipatubig mismo sa ating mga halaman at maging sa lupa. Next, 5. Design parameters, soil water holding capacity, maximum application rate, and climatic data must be used to select the correct irrigation system design. So, kasi again, may meron tayong mga iba't ibang klase ng irrigation system. So, mas maganda, i-test muna natin kung ano yung mas maganda or i-analyze muna natin yung area natin kung ano mas magandang irrigation sa atin. Or kung ano mas magandang irrigation na pwede natin i-apply sa ating farm. Kasi, kung marami ka namang source ng tubig, so why not? Pwede kang mag- Uh, tinatawag na ito yung surface irrigation system o faro irrigation system or depende na lang so kung farm layout meron ka plus kung kulang ka naman sa tubig mismo naman pagkukuhanan or wala mismo malapit na river so mas maganda na magkaroon katawag ng irrigation system which is yung sprinkler irrigation so depende na rin talaga so kung saan tayo nakalocate kaya mas maganda i-analyze muna natin yung area natin bago tayo mag-put up ng irrigation system. Number 6, design data, the nozzle selected, operating pressure, discharge rate, and sprinkler spacing must also be shown on the plan. The irrigation interval, set time, application rate, and net amount applied must be also be calculated. So, talagang specific yung kailangan mo sa pagdidesign nyo or pagpaplano. So, kaya nga kung ano yung mga dapat na isulat natin or kailangan natin sa alang-alang. So, it must be included on our plan. So, which is also included in our design data. Next. So, and that would be all. Thank you. And 
God bless.